Hello, and thank you for joining us. I am Mayor Bill Miranda. It is my great honor to welcome you to the celebration of Black History Month, which is an annual event recognizing the achievements of African Americans and an opportunity to remember their role in the history of the United States. The event was the brainchild of noted historian Carter G. Woodson and other prominent African Americans and has been held each year nationally since 1976 during the month of February. This program will chart the influence of African Americans in the United States throughout history to modern times and tell the stories of the influential African Americans in our country and right here in Santa Clarita. Please enjoy this program. We hope that it is not only informative and entertaining, but also enhances your understanding of the significant contribution that African Americans have made in all of our lives. During the lead up to the Civil War, there were many important African Americans that influenced the nation's changing opinion of slavery in our country. They continued to advocate after the war to help ensure that the freedoms that were won were not lost through inaction or ignorance. From the beginning of the United States, prominent African American leaders risked their lives to improve the lives of slaves and to fight for freedom. Richard Allen, a former slave who bought his own freedom, is considered the founder of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, which now has more than 2.5 million members. In the early 1800s, Allen delivered sermons that argued for the freedom of slaves, the end of colonization, and the importance of educating black youth. Frederick Douglass published his story, Narrative of Life of Frederick Douglass, in 1845. The book not only served as a valuable window into slave life, but the vivid account of brutality, family separation, and mental torture move many to rethink their position on slavery and their view on the African-American experience in America. Sojourner Truth spoke out against slavery and advocated for stressing freedom for African-American men and women, even being critical of other abolitionists for not including women in their version of freedom. During the Civil War, she recruited black troops to fight for the Union. Harriet Tubman led hundreds of slaves to freedom and was known as the conductor of the Underground Railroad. The railroad was a network of secret routes and safe houses from the South to the Northern States and Canada. During the Civil War, Tubman became a nurse and a spy for the Union. After the war, the fight for freedom and equality continued. Booker T. Washington was born a slave and went on to found the Tuskegee Institute in 1881. Advised Presidents McKinley and Theodore Roosevelt on racial matters, was a popular lecturer, helped start the National Negro Business League, and wrote his autobiography, Up From Slavery, in 1901. Robert Abbott founded the Chicago Defender, one of the most important black newspapers in history, in 1905. The publication gave voice to African-American causes, and its success led Abbott to be one of the first black millionaires in the country. Mary McLeod Bethune was an educator who founded a girls' school in 1904 in Daytona, Florida. In 1924, the school combined with the Cookman Institute of Jacksonville, making her one of the very few female college presidents in the country. She served as an advisor to five presidents and was known as the First Lady of the Struggle. W.E.B. Dubois, through his numerous books, including The Souls of Black Folk in 1903 
and Black Reconstruction in America in 1935, served as a keen observer of the challenges facing black and white Americans as they struggled to understand each other and work together to address social issues. Ida B. Wells was a journalist who used her voice to raise awareness about causes like lynching in the post-Reconstruction South that terrorized black communities. She also was an advocate for women's suffrage and fought for civil rights for women. The fight for equality continued well into the 20th century with the civil rights movement. Martin Luther King Jr. is perhaps the most known figure of this movement. His commitment to peaceful resistance and his powerful speeches and sermons gave a voice to the struggle for freedom and basic human rights. His life is celebrated on the third Monday in January as a national holiday and day of service. Malcolm X became a Muslim while in prison and after his release became a minister with the Nation of Islam. He was a popular speaker and advocate for black rights. His influence on the movement continued after his assassination in 1965 and his life is immortalized in the book the Autobiography of Malcolm X by Alex Haley. Ella Baker was not as high a profile as Dr. King or Malcolm X, but her work behind the scenes was the civil rights movement's backbone. She helped King found the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and ran a voter registration campaign, the Crusade for Citizenship, that resulted in Black Americans having much more influence than ever on their government. Many African-American political and civic leaders have shaped America and inspired future generations to run for elected office. Thurgood Marshall was the first African-American United States Supreme Court Justice. He had been an attorney for years having argued many cases in front of the Supreme Court. He was a staunch advocate for the underrepresented and fought against racism and injustice through the legal system. Shirley Chisholm in 1968 was the first black woman to be elected to the United States Congress. As a New York representative, she was a champion for education equality and assistance for the struggling. She was also the first black woman who ran for president for one of the major parties in 1972. Jesse Jackson founded the National Rainbow Coalition in 1984 to give a political voice to the underrepresented. In the same year, he ran for president and won several primaries. He ran for president again in 1988 and ended up finishing second to Michael Dukakis. Barack Obama was elected as the first black president in 2008 and was re-elected in 2012. As a child of a black father from Kenya and a white mother, his rise from community activism to senator from Illinois to the country's highest office serves as a true inspiration for all future generations. Many of the things we use every day and take for granted were invented or developed by African Americans. Their names may not be as well known as the politicians, musicians, or athletes, but their contributions are no less important. Otis Boykin helped develop the IBM computer and the pacemaker. Sisters Mary and Mildred Davidson invented the walker and the tissue holder. Mark Dean developed the color PC monitor and the gigahertz chip. Physician Dr. Charles Drew created the concept for the blood bank. Lisa Jalopter developed the shockwave program, which is the genesis of animation on the web and helped develop online video. Dr. Shirley Jackson 
invented the touchstone telephone, caller ID, and fiber optic cable. Katherine Johnson was a mathematician and physicist who worked for NASA and was featured in the movie Hidden Figures. Lonnie G. Johnson invented the thermoelectric energy converter and the super soaker. Yes, the water toy gun. Henrietta Lacks cancer cells were used as the source of the HeLa cell line, which is one of the most important cell lines in medical history. Alexander Miles invented automatic elevator doors. Garrett Morgan invented the gas mask and the traffic signal. Marie Van Britten Brown developed closed circuit television used for security. Valerie Thomas helped develop the technology behind 3D movies. Mathematician Jesse Ernest Wilkins Jr. developed models to explain gamma radiation. Hi, my name is Kalia Love Jones and I'm 14 years old and I go to Golden Valley High School. I'm a filmmaker and my short film, The Power of Hope, is an aspirational short film that strives to remind young adults, women in particular, that they can pursue their big dreams regardless of pre-existing or present circumstances. It is my hope to inspire other young black girls to chase their dreams too. To find out more about my film, please visit thepowerofhopefilm.com. There are also numerous African-American athletes, performers, and authors that have made significant contributions to American society. There is no way to recognize all the people in this category, but here is a sampling of black Americans that deserve to be remembered and honored. Alvin Ailey, founder of a dance company that revolutionized modern dance. Muhammad Ali, heavyweight boxing champion and activist. Maya Angelou, poet and activist. James Baldwin, novelist and playwright. Duke Ellington, composer and big band leader. Aretha Franklin, singer and songwriter known as the Queen of Soul. Rock musician Jimi Hendrix, who changed the way people played the guitar. Zora Neale Hurston, Harlem Renaissance writer. Toni Morrison, Pulitzer and Nobel Prize winning writer. Jesse Owens, four-time Olympic medalist on track and field. Sidney Poitier, Oscar winning actor and filmmaker. Richard Pryor, influential stand-up comic. Jackie Robinson, first black baseball player in Major League Baseball. Wilma Rudolph, world record setting and Olympic champion sprinter. August Wilson, Pulitzer and Tony Award winning playwright. These examples demonstrate the major impact that African Americans have had on life in America. While this list is not remotely comprehensive, these individuals represent the key purpose of Black History Month, which is to celebrate the contributions made by Black Americans that have improved the lives of all the citizens of the United States. Now I would like to introduce Gloria Locke, a local artist and media personality who will highlight the contributions of various African Americans who have made a difference right here in Santa Clarita. Hello, I'm Gloria Locke and this is my grandson Michael. Together we've compiled a list of some of Santa Clarita's black leaders for a school project. It was very interesting learning about these black heroes of our community. Hopefully this will encourage you to find out more about black leaders. The first group we would like to share is media leaders. Austin Dave is an award-winning multimedia journalist and the first chief of operations in the video and multimedia division at the Signal newspaper. Morris Thomas served 12 years at the Signal in various lead aspects, including intern publisher and general manager. Janice Murray is a host and producer of a nonprofit business show broadcasting on KHTS AM 1220. She also serves as Director of Community Relations for KHTS. Felicia Shepard Provins is a host and director of Talkin' with Felicia, airing on SCV TV. Paul Lowe is a journalist and anchor broadcasting throughout Southern California on CBS Radio, KFWB, KNX and K-Wave. Chris Robel is a iconic award-winning news anchor for KTLA Los Angeles. The next group are religious leaders. 
Julius Harper, senior pastor at Santa Clarita Christian Fellowship, is the first black clergy to televise worship service in Santa Clarita on SCV TV. Marlon Saunders is a former senior pastor at Valencia Christian Church, which has the largest black congregation in Santa Clarita. Dr. Swansea Saunders is the senior pastor at Valencia Christian Center and the first black woman to become pastor of the largest congregation in our community. The following are leaders in education. Kimberly Humphreys became Saugus Union School District's first black elementary school principal in June 2017. Dr. Sharice Moore became a Hart District trustee in 2017 and is the current president of the board. Dr. Moore also serves as co-chair for the City of Santa Clarita Human Relations Roundtable. The following are entertainers. Megan Good is nationally renowned actress and model. She is known for her starring role in the movie Roll Bounce with Bow Wow and Nick Cannon. Naya Rivera was an internationally renowned award-winning actress. She was most widely known for her starring role in the television series Glee. T.C. Stalling is an acclaimed actor most widely known for his starring roles in Christiansville War Room and Courageous. The next group are Olympians and World Champions. Allison Felix is the most decorated track and field Olympian in history. She is a nine-time Olympic medalist, a six-time Olympic champion, and a world record holder. She has won 25 global medals at the Olympics and the World Championships. Alisa Montano is a seven-time USA champion and two-time American record holder as a middle distance runner. Montano is a recipient of the Key to the City. Lashinda Demas is an Olympic silver medalist and a world champion hurdler. She is also a recipient of the Key to the City. Anthony Irvin is a two-time gold medalist with a total of four Olympic medals. He is also a two-time world champion and a former record holder. Irvin is a recipient of the Key to the City. Eddie Murray is a former Major League Baseball player. He was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2003. Shane Green is Santa Clarita's first Super Bowl champion. He is a running back and was with the New England Patriots in 2015 when the team won Super Bowl 49. Vereen is a recipient of the Key to the City. The last group is Civic Leaders. Lewis Brathwaite was a Santa Clarita founding father and an original member of the city's planning commission, serving until his retirement in 1998. Mr. Brathwaite was an instrumental part in the formation of the city of Santa Clarita. He was the first black candidate to run for political office, vying for a seat as council member in 1988 and again in 1996. Ed Red served as a Santa Clarita Parks and Recreation Commissioner from 2002 until his death in 2010. Mr. Red was the first Black Parks and Recreation Commissioner of Santa Clarita. Reverend Samuel Dixon was the founder of a healthcare center first established in his church in Val Verde. His family was instrumental in continuing the project, and today there are three healthcare centers providing low-cost care to residents of Santa Clarita and surrounding areas. Jim Ventures is a community leader and iconic figure in the Santa Clarita Valley. He is best known for his 29 years of service as CEO of Santa Clarita Boys and Girls Club. Over the years, Ventures has imparted wisdom and empowered young people to become productive members and leaders in Santa Clarita and beyond. Roosevelt Johnson was the captain of the Santa Clarita Sheriff Station from 2014 to 2017 when he was promoted to commander. Anthony LaBerge also served as the captain of the station from 2007 to 2010 when he was promoted to commander. As we look back and celebrate the past, we must also recognize the current climate of race relations in our country. A Gallup poll released in September 2020 showed that perceptions of black-white relations are at their lowest in 20 years. 
This shift in attitude comes following the police killing of black Americans, resulting in protests and calls for an end to racism here in Santa Clarita and around the world. Locally, the city of Santa Clarita is actively addressing these concerns through the new, newly formed Human Relations Roundtable. Made up of diverse group of residents of different ages, different ethnicities, and different experiences, this group will work together to encourage and assist our community in eliminating all forms of racism and discrimination and in promoting inclusion, understanding, and appreciation of human differences. After all, we have made great strides in our nation. We've had our first African-American president and currently the first Black and South Asian American woman as vice president. Rosalind Brewer, the CEO of Walgreens, is the only Black woman currently to lead a Fortune 500 company. Dr. Kizmikiak, S. Corbett, who at just 35 years old is the lead scientist on the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine team, and the work she has done will save hundreds of thousands of lives. Victor J. Glover Jr. is the first black astronaut to live and work at the International Space Station for an extended stay. Rashida Jones, the first black executive to run a major television news network. 23-year-old Nicholas Johnson was Princeton's first black valedictorian. The barriers of racism continue to crumble as all of these celebrated firsts will soon be the norm. Our country will no longer feel the need to point out that someone is the first black person to serve in a certain role or even be the first Latino mayor. Instead, they will celebrate all races and all accomplishments equally. As we chart a steady course toward that goal, we celebrate all African Americans past, present, and future. And speaking of the future, we leave you today with the inspiring words of a young woman we are sure to hear more from. Amanda Gorman, the youngest inaugural poet in U.S. history who describes herself as a wordsmith and a change maker. Thank you for watching. If we merge mercy with might and might with right, then love becomes our legacy and change our children's birthright. So let us leave behind a country better than the one we were left with every breath from my bronze pounded chest. We will raise this wounded world into a wondrous one. We will rise from the gold limbed hills of the west. We will rise from the wind swept northeast where our forefathers first realized revolution. We will rise from the lake rimmed cities of the Midwestern states. We will rise from the sun baked south. We will rebuild reconcile and recover in every known nook of our nation, in every corner called our country, our people diverse and beautiful will emerge battered and beautiful. When day comes, we step out of the shade of flame and unafraid, the new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it.